Ooh, more chains and boards. Or Scout of Skolgen. Some fabric? There's some bright orange cloth caught on this sign. I wonder if Mike Lobb was trying to get away from this place in a hurry. I mean, the window's a puzzle. Looks like someone doesn't want me to see what's going on inside. Well, they probably shouldn't have made this a puzzle then. Window watcher, draw a single straight line from one red dot to another that will slice through every barrier blocking the window. So just all in one move? Or... Mm -hmm. That, if it cuts the corner of that silver chain, that would cut everything, wouldn't it? Think that's good? I think so. Because it cuts that board, that board, that board, and that board. The big chain up top, the corner of the silver chain, the medium chain, and the... No. No. Yeah, it's got to be that one. Mm-hmm. I just did that kind of, it's like, yeah, this looks vaguely right. Hopefully it counts the corner. Yep. Ooh, are they howling? Or singing? And Glory's in on it too. If you want a good look around, you might try knocking on the door. Sheriff Bob! Oh, you startled me. Snooping doesn't suit you, Agent Tatters. What are you doing here? What the heck is going on in there? They meet regularly and celebrate their cultural traditions. But that's their business, not yours. Glory? I'm pretty sure I saw Glory Dabner in there. The waitress? I doubt it. She was standing right there a second ago. There's something about this crew that seems off to me. Agent Chathers, you're here to get the factory back open. Not to question or belittle the beliefs of the townsfolk. Time to go, Agent Chathers. I'll escort you back to the hotel. Make it an early night. Turn in, Agent Tathers. I don't want to see you out here again tonight. Sheriff, you're overstepping your bounds. The FBI was brought, on, brought in on this. And trust me, you don't want to be out here either. Well, that also might be a warning about the creatures at night, but... Sheriff Bog definitely isn't working with me. I'm sure I saw Glory Davner at the lodge. Oh. And now Glory Davner is sneaking around town. I'm going to follow her. Uh, and you can't look around town to see where Glory went? Going after Lori. Nelson still got snowmobile troubles. Rearrange the logs so that he will track through the footprints. Okay, before arriving at Glory's destination. Wait, do we have to go through the... All the footprints? Is that what's going on? And you can't go through forest? Can you look at the rules again? We'll start off heading south. When it hits a log, he'll bank right or left depending on the orientation. He has to hit every footprint on his way. It doesn't say anything about trees. trees. Oh. 
The thick trees, I could only imagine, would put a stop to him, but the thin ones, not so much. So here's the thing. Mm hmm? You I... go over a blank space. Yeah. Um. Oh, so maybe put your first left log over to the, like, under, yeah, beneath him? I can't. No? It won't let me. But maybe if I do something like this. I mean, isn't it just down, over, up, So we got to do this. Over, down? We've got to go over here to get to this. It's the only valid approach. Wait, what? He, if he goes south, he's going to turn right. And then up and turn right. He'd go off the side of the map. No, 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 no. I'm not even thinking about that. So okay. down. Here we go. Down, up, over, down, left. Mm -hmm. There you go. That works. Going after glory. Was this a branching path, or could you have gone into the hotel instead? I don't know. Glory I think was headed toward the factory. I gotta catch up with her. She's bringing food there. Meatloaf, peas, and eggs? Or is it mashed potato stuff? Oh! More of the spirits! Is this a death state? Is this the end? No. But now you're on a space station? With Isaac Dabner. Abducted by aliens. I. How is it that on one side it's space and the other it's the forest? Where am I? Wait. Do I know you? You. You're the foreman, Isaac Davner. What happened to you? What are those things? The gnomes? Ah. Was that real? <sighs> yes? What is it? Grow up in space. Draw paths to reconnect the loose ends, red to red and yellow to yellow. Be careful not to let the wires cross. A path segment can run between any two adjoining points. So how do we get that other yellow line?
You have to get the red to loop around so that the yellow can loop in the middle. Mm -hmm. Huh. More straightforward than I thought. Yep. It just looks complex at first. Mm-hmm. I think that's true of most of the puzzles in this game, that they're not actually very hard. It's just you're... Because you haven't seen them before, you look at them, you're like, what? And then it takes like two seconds. You're like, oh, yeah. Ah, the lodge. Oh, what happened? I found you unconscious in the woods. Did they speak to you? Did who speak to me? I mean, there's their photo. On the I'm wall. looking at a photograph of the Brotherhood. Isaac and Mike Lobb seem to be part of this group, and they seem to be friends. Interesting. Yeah, they're not rivals. Okay, I'm gonna need some real answers now. What exactly is going on here? What's wrong with these people? They are in deep meditation. If you open your mind and let yourself hear the whispers, there will be no mysteries in life. You cannot solve. Speak to them yourself if you want solutions. What are these little creatures I keep seeing? They are not creatures. They are people older than any of us, living in what nature still exists around us. Isaac Dabner's still alive, isn't he? The lock on the factory door. He didn't build it himself. You put it there to keep him in. Or to keep people out. Why? He has been spoken to. It is actually a great honor to have been chosen. Chosen for what? That is not for us to ask. I'm going to need mm -hmm. a second to question these people. Do what you must. You see them, don't you? Listen to their words. Their riddles. Grickleback Baffler. Edvard knows it's time to stock the Windawachi River with Grindleback or Gricklebacks. Drag four clutches of fish to release points and keep these rules in mind. Schools will swim towards the river, splitting evenly at each fork. A school that can't split evenly will be paralyzed with indecision. Marsh marmots will eat all fish who enter their turf. Okay, that's no good. The marmot- wait, wait a minute. Marmots- do they really eat fish? Because hey. marmots, they look like beaver groundhogs and they're really cute. Hmm. The marmots are either in Mythic Marsh or the Abdominal Swamp, but not both places. Exactly 16 fish must arrive safely at the river. No more and no less. Marmots are herbivores. Right, which is what confused me because marmots do not eat fish. If they had chosen stoats or weasels or mink or any kind of... I, mink and, and stoats and stuff are part of the weasel family. Then I'd understand, but... Marmots, but this is a marsh marmot, you say? All right. <laughs> These particular marmots are con carnivores. Uh, I think so people are just funny. All right. So ultimately, you want large groups to start, correct? Or wait? Sort of. Uh, you want groups that can't split much to be certain places. So four can split two, two times. Two and two. So two and two. The lower set are doomed. The upper set have to split again, leaving one. Was it 16 fish? I don't actually know if well, this is the right Well, I thought they said answer. the marmots either lived in the marsh or the swamp, but you didn't know which. 
The marmots are either in Mythpick Marsh or the Abdominal Swamp, but not both places. So you have to bank on half getting eaten in one or the other. Or all of them getting eaten in one or the other, sorry. Or we have to bank on sending the exact same number of fish. A fish on both of the outer perimeters. No, no, no. And the exact same number of fish through both of both the marsh and the swamp. That way, no matter where they are, the value is the same, which I think I've already set up. Ah, uh, okay. Here, I'm going to draw this one out just so I have... Well, because if you send three and three, that means six will get to the bottom. Two and... That means six will get to the top. Okay. That's, that's good because it's even in that respect. So if the marsh has the marmots then you're going to lose four but you're going to get six more which means 16 however if it goes through the swamp and the swamp is bad you would lose three and four but not four wouldn't you end up with six Oh no, that Mythic Marsh splits later, so that'd be two. If it split again. Okay, so if the swamp has the marmots, so you get two, goes there. Okay, I think this is right, actually. I think my think first guess was correct. Yeah, so two splits. Two go down here, the rest go up here. Mm -hmm. The two join the two going to abdominal swamp join with three of these fish, so five to this swamp. For mm -hmm. this one plus three at the bottom. The, well that's separate. Mm -hmm. I'm i I'm just mostly concerned about balancing these two. For now. Mm -hmm. Two go up here. But then split. Well no, two go up here, get added to an additional eight fish, leaving okay. you ten. They split, spending five and five. And then in the very bottom, the six that splits, the three plus the three. So we, no matter what, we lose five on both of these. So five goes up here, five goes here, five goes here, six goes here. One of the two fives is null and void, but it doesn't matter which. You got it right. I will admit, I think I kind of mildly prefer puzzle games like this over Myst uh, from like a recording perspective <laughs> because I spend less time being like, what do? That's a piece of the machine locking the factory. Where did you get that? All we can do is open our minds. The language of the hidden ones is expressed in puzzles. Perplexed sock picker. The probability is you'll be able to solve Sjolder's riddle. Blind Lars Jorgskin's mother knitted him 25... Jorgsen. Jorgsen? Jorgsen. His mother knitted him 25 pairs of socks. Five striped, five plaid, five spotted, five argyle, and five with owls playing fiddles. Really? Being a teenager, Lars failed to pair his socks and threw them randomly in his drawer. How many socks must Lars pull out before he can absolutely be certain that he is holding at least one matching pair? And this is if he chooses at random? Mm -hmm. How ma many random socks must he pull out before he can absolutely be certain that he's holding at least a pair that match? Well, because it's five, 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 five and five. Mm -hmm. So wouldn't this be one of those ones where you use a multiplier? Sort I mean, of. really what it is, is there's 10 striped socks. Oh, five, 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 five. 
Yeah. So 50 socks total. And you have 10 of each sock. The weird thing is, but so absolutely be certain that he is holding at least one matching pair. The probability is he could get it on the first try with two, but that's against probability. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I think two is too little. Ten would be surefire. But, well, not even surefire. How can you be sure that he'd get, oh, um, because having picked out 10 socks, no. What are you laughing about? No, keep going. What are you laughing about? <laughs> keep going. That he's at least holding one matching pair? Keep going. What do you mean by, what are you laughing about? No, 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 no. I mean, they don't need to match. Is that what you're getting at? I... It's because he's blind, isn't it? Yeah. That's such a terrible joke. It's a non-puzzle. All of them are correct. That is such a, so you're going to say two. Is that it? Presumably. Because I, I think the real right answer would be something like well over half. Oh, I know. You would have to get well over half to be certain. Well. Because really you. Because after the halfway point, you know. You, you would have at least gotten two of one or wait. No. I think it's after the halfway point. You'd have to pull like an obscene number, uh, number of socks out of the full 50. But he's um, blind. That that is okay. See so you're saying too. I'm pretty sure. Cause he's certain. It doesn't it doesn't actually have to be true. No. Rejected. Look at that. You see, I think that I... No, they're both confused. What do you mean by they're both confused? But you see, he can be certain that he has a matching pair, but he doesn't know which ones there will be. So are you going to say 10 now? Right? Spotted plaid. Horse failed to pair his socks and threw them randomly in his drawer. No matter what, it's not five. Mm hmm. I think. Because even if he drew one sock of each pattern then yes on the it would mean that he would have to get the six sock do you understand what I mean but you're not always guaranteed to pick one of each plus one do you know what I mean because mm -hmm. oh because you could always get a duplicate right mm hmm so, so is the answer six? It might be, yeah. I don't know. At this point, I thought this was a non-puzzle, but... It isn't a non-puzzle. Watch this get rejected again. Now it's accepted. See? Six, eight, because... What? If he pulled one pattern of each sock and then the sixth one was an act... What? How does that even work? If there are five different sock patterns and Lara, Lars only needs to pull out six socks to ensure he's got at least one match, even if he got a new pattern every time he pulled out a sock, the six would have to match. No, I guess that makes it total does, sense. It does make complete sense. Yeah. 
I I over then underthought it. Like a dingle hop. That's it. Only one more piece. Yeah, see, I, I think we were both operating under the assumption that he was still holding on to, like, the first sock. Nah, I, I knew he needed to pull more, but I didn't think ten well, no, no, was no, no, no. the number. Like, say you That's pull one sock. That's why six made sense. You have a giant pile of socks. You pull one socks. How many socks do you have to pull from that pile before you pull a matching sock to the first one you pulled? But then you would have I chosen five. But like, that's not necessarily true. Uh, once again, you, I you were trying to do the word puzzle for the two. Uh, not with, really. I, I was just trying to think in terms of like, because um, yeah, for this one, all you have to do is just draw six six socks because no matter what, that six sock has to match one of the previous five, uh, or even one of the previous ones. But for my for my flawed thought process, I was ones. trying to match to the very first sock only. But yeah, what if you drew, pulled four socks of the other pattern? Then you'd already have two then pairs. You, then you would have a exactly. pair. Exactly. Yep, so it was Yeah, six. so I, I thought it was a blind joke, and I was like, all right, I'll go for it. Uh, and then it was something completely different. Well, whatever. I don't think so, Agent Tethers. I need to get the rest of the broken pieces from the brothers to fix this. Does he need Rock, you solve his puzzle? Trees, animals, do you ever just stop and watch the birds, Mr. Tethers? Hmm. A quorum of crows congregating in rows on alignment for clothes is an omen of woes. Quorum of crows. Yorn has photos that show a quorum of crows on his clothesline. A dark omen. Keeping in mind the images may overlap, what's the minimum number of crows pictured? So, if they can overlap. Minimum number. The minimum number. So you have... Okay, so we got there, R, B, B. Let's just call the bluebird yellow. Just for the sake of shorthand. And we've got... Let's say that the bluebird is the only bluebird on the clothesline. Probably, yeah. But not necessarily. Right, but we're trying to find the minimum number of crows. So let's say that the bluebird is the only bluebird on the cro cl clothesline. Then that means you have to have at least three of those crows. Just from that picture alone. But look at those with the So Shell, I would actually say having the assuming that the bluebird is the only one is actually bad. That is the one bird uh bluebirds and red birds are the ones that we actually want the most number of. Um Oh, because you're trying to find Yeah, I suppose that makes sense. I just so didn't know for, if all of these birds these... had to be on the line though. Yeah. That's the thing. Um so these, for example, can overlap. So no matter what, we need to have... Oh, well, okay. See picture one? That could be on picture two. So I'm going to say have two... this, is the, this probably is the far right. Because we do not want this guy. Because mm -hmm. we can have this guy overlap with this guy. And in fact, I think that's what we want to do. So positing that this is the one... On the far right. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. E B R B B. Wait. Okay. I'm guessing. So here's the thing. These Five? these two birds overlap. Mm -hmm. Can they? No, they can't. No. But these can. Okay. So no matter what, we need Yeah. 
Okay. Really, the kicker is that picture right there with a cardinal between each crow. I think there's six. Because the that one there, you would you could put two crows on one side and two crows on the other if you wanted to get the least number. Mm-hmm. Because you want the pictures to overlap as much as possible. Mm-hmm. Which is why I was hoping picture on the far right up top could overlap with the picture in the middle top. Or uh, Which ones overlap? That one on the right. This one. Overlapping with the one directly next to it. This one. They do. Overlapping with that one down there. Or No, 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 no. This one has to be... This bird is this bird. The reason being... I mean, technically, this one can overlap in two different places. This bird could be this bird. Um, cause oh, because then you would, you would want the blue bird to be on an end. Yeah. No matter what, the, the blue birds are your bookends. Because... Mm -hmm. uh, to have them be in the middle means this... You, you get more crows. This bird would be extraneous in a w in an inconvenient manner. Mm -hmm. um, okay. So it goes yellow bird, black bird, black bird, black bird. Oh, you mean cardinal. Uh, sorry. Yellow bird, black, black, red. This guy is this guy. This guy is this guy. This guy is this guy. This guy also happens to be this guy. These two are the same. Blackbird, Blackbird, Redbird. This guy... These these two are the same. same. These two are the same. Blackbird, Redbird, Blackbird, which is the same as this one. So Redbird, how many Redbird, is that Redbird, total? Yellow. Six. Six? Okay. That sounds about right. I was guessing five, but one more with six... Not so bad. Rejected. No. Minimum number of crows. I didn't like that. But yeah, once again, chat, don't backseat this. Maybe it's seven. Just don't. I wish I could actually rearrange these and move them around. I wish you could actually paste them on top of each other. Mm -hmm. Or like draw lines between them. Because what I'm thinking here is, see that picture that you're hovering over right now? Here, give me a second. Ah! What are you doing? Photoshop. You're really not photoshopping this together. Why not? It's easier than just vaguely talking about it or trying to write it down awkwardly in shorthand. Mm. It's funny how it's capturing all of the screens. Okay. So you're just going to cut and paste pieces. Mm -hmm. You have to put them on separate layers and make a transparency. Easy enough. If it cooperates. All right, you have to cut it from the original layer. Yeah. You gotta remember, I'm used to working with Illustrator, which is not as finicky. Mm. 
Okay. Okay, so either way, that one with the two cardinals separating them is... That's the one with the most crows without with the least amount of overlap, potentially. Okay. Okay, so you're overlapping those ones. So one, two, three, four. But then you're getting your six, aren't you? Yeah. So that means the least number, is there a way to get five? That's what I was wondering. Okay, so that's solution one. Well, let's toss out my regular assumption that the bluebirds need to be bookends. Mm hmm So let's go see if the birds are in the middle. My yeah, so that one that one could be there. On the right. There. That one could be there. One, two, three, four. Wait, but that would be... Yeah, this seems worse. That seems like it might be... No, 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 that could skip over. Is it... Is it... One, two, three, four, five, six. What? Hmm... There has to be another way we can arrange this. Because the the big issue oh, oh, is oh 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 um here, take that one down there, this on one? the left. This one. Put it on the right. And then bring that one from the left over, or the right over to the left. You're right. No, 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 the right over to the left. Oh, wait, this that, one? Yes. Can't. You can't? Okay. No, because no matter what... Oh, but that one could move over. These two have to have... Okay, so that one can be over there, though. This? Right? No, no, the crow can't. Correct. So it can't be there. One, two, three, four, five, six. That would be seven if you had it back over on the left. Which means that, yeah, if we keep getting sixes and sevens, wouldn't that mean that the least amount would have to be five? It's got to be five, but I refuse to just enter that in. Without knowing why? I mean, when I had, fig when I had surmised it was five it was because i was using the bluebird as a middle but maybe that isn't right um here here's an option mm -hmm. i think we were forcibly overlaying a bad combo one two so these line up oh those ones line up yeah this is it it's five it is five. Yeah, so what we were doing was we were assuming this is the middle crow. We were always assuming this guy was on the ends. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't want to just put in five. Even though we knew it was the answer. Yep.
Happens. That's all of the pieces. Now I just need to reassemble them. What about the rest? Yeah, but what? Okay. Oh, maybe they were just guarding specific ones. Can you fit the pieces together? 